salts then. Keep your eyes closed, join your hands. So we're going to sing this same Change my heart, O Lord. Make it ever new. Keep your eyes closed. As we sing together. at Jesus on the altar. I'm going to tell him, change my heart, O Lord. Change my heart, O Keep your eyes closed as we sing this together. You are the potter. Draw me close to you, never let me go, Lord. Draw me close 
with all our minds, we're going to sing your role. I want with all our hearts, sing your role. I want the more we ask Him, Lord, your role. I ever need it. Your role, I want. Help me. Thy will be done on earth and as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let's raise our hands and one more time praise and worship God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He takes away all our inequities, our shortcomings, our deficiencies. He bore all our sicknesses and sins on his body on the cross. 
and by his stripes and wounds we are healed he forgives us all our sins at the same time the word of god tells us if you don't forgive your heavenly father will not forgive you your sins our forgiveness of sins leads us to our healings in six areas of life but the condition is that to receive forgiveness of sins we need to forgive first forgiving others receiving forgiveness leading to our healing our restoration our renewal is the key unforgiveness becomes a blockage to receive blessings mark 11:25 says whenever you stand praying forgive if you have anything against anyone so that your father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses brothers and sisters forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself not to anybody else because through giving forgiveness you receive forgiveness from god and by receiving forgiveness from god your sins are forgiven and you are healed to that paralytic who was lowered from the roof by four people jesus said your sins are forgiven and when people objected he said i have the power to forgive sins but for you to believe take up your mat and walk and he healed that paralytic through the forgiveness of sins forgiveness brothers and sisters is a decision everyone says you don't know brother how much i have been hurt what was done to me it is impossible to forgive that person it's impossible to forgive my father my mother my son my daughter my wife my husband my brother my sister it's impossible you don't know brother what kind of hurt i have received what they have done to me i cannot even if i try so many people told me to try but i cannot forgive it's just not possible from me i just cannot do it and your brothers and sisters forgiveness is a decision all the lord says is take a decision to forgive and my spirit will help you with a gift of forgiving love the holy spirit will give you that gift of unconditional love forgiving love whereby you will be able to forgive your brother and sister on your own it's very 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 difficult na impossible on our own we cannot do it but jesus helps us through the holy spirit and through the gift of the holy spirit today let us take a decision let us take a decision one and all and i want each one you of you to say it loudly not only in your heart but say it loudly i decide to forgive unconditionally each one of you from the bottom of your heart tell jesus jesus i decide to forgive unconditionally help me jesus help me holy spirit so just that one sentence i decide to forgive unconditionally i three times i decide to forgive unconditionally i decide to forgive unconditionally i decide to forgive unconditionally decide to forgive unconditionally hallelujah hallelujah and brothers and sisters forgiveness is very vital for your emotional health and your survival 
your spiritual life your family life your financial life your marriage your physical healness healing your illnesses each one of those once you forgive you will see god's love pouring in god's healing coming in today we will go through this process practically of actually forgiving as i lead you through a meditation where we will go back to the time when you were conceived in your mother's womb and come back from there to the present time slowly forgiving each and every person forgiving each and every circumstance forgiving each and everything that happened in our life just forgiving taking a decision to forgive going on forgiving and forgiving deeply so i want you to close your eyes to all the people who are here and all the people who may be watching this online on youtube close your eyes wherever you are just close your eyes the spirit of the lord is upon you as we sit in front of the blessed sacrament the lord jesus is present here his true living presence is here and he is the healer he will heal you when you have taken a decision to forgive he will help you to forgive very easily and through this forgiveness all the inner healing all the hurts that you have received all the unloved experiences that you have had all the hurtful memories that you have inside of you all will be washed white as snow jesus will wash it with his precious blood and bring about healing and wholeness in your life close your eyes everyone remove your spectacles remove your spectacles close your eyes do not open your eyes close your eyes and invite jesus into your life may the spirit of the lord come upon you now let there be a mighty anointing may the spirit of peace come upon you a spirit of relaxation come upon you relaxing you from your head from the crown of your head to the tip of your toes total and completely relax each and every part of your body each and every cell of your body is being relaxed by the gentle flow of the holy spirit the living waters of the holy spirit flowing gently and giving you peace relaxation calm your body is totally relaxed as your eyes are closed concentrate slowly on every part of your body and be totally relaxed completely relaxed as i pray abba visualize yourself your whole body is relaxed abba are relaxed every part of the hands legs back spine neck completely relaxed and we offer our minds to be connected to the mind of Christ to have the peace of Christ in our life and we offer all our emotions 
all our thoughts to Jesus and ask the Lord to relax our mind. Come Jesus, Maranatha, come into my mind. Jesus, singing the relaxation of the body and the mind let us ask the spirit of the lord to come and help us to relax more deeply more deeply more deeply spirit 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 Let's go deeper into relaxation. Deeper, deeper, deeper. As we go deeper into relaxation, we go down. deeper and deeper and each of an of us as a small little vehicle waiting for us beautiful vehicle each one for each one of us a separate beautiful vehicle the doors are open and we enter into it and it takes us deeper and deeper down and down to the center of the earth and as we are in this vehicle now this is a time capsule this is a time machine and this capsule visualize yourself in this beautiful vehicle and this is taking you back in time taking you back in time deep slowly taking you to the time when you were conceived in your mother's womb visualize imagine that moment when you were conceived in your mother's womb you were not there definitely not in any kind of consciousness except your being conceived in your mother's womb you really do not know what was the situation at that time how your conception came about were your parents very happy when they came together and conceived you was it out of just lust that you were conceived was it in a drunken state of your father was it in a rejection mode of your mother that this union happened and you were conceived was the situation peaceful was it done with an intent of conception of procreation or was it just an accident you don't know but definitely all the feelings that were manifested that time in your parents and their intentions had an impact on your subconscious mind that just formed body of yours that little embryo of yours that little mind of yours which god had made 
a little soul of yours was impacted your subconscious mind was impacted it was hurt and it has had so many effects in your life knowingly and unknowingly daddy i didn't know what happened mummy i didn't know what happened but somehow that negative feeling against both of you has been there in my heart in my mind without any reason at times and i feel so hurt for so disturbed unable to concentrate i take a decision now to forgive my parents and all other human beings and all of creation at that point of time which was not favorable to my conception i take a decision and i forgive all of them unconditionally jesus i invoke your precious blood wipe clean every wound every hurt every memory that has harmed me that is impacting me negatively wipe it clean o oh lord that wound that memory wash it clean make it white as snow heal that wound o oh lord fill that wound my lord because you are the same yesterday today and forever and i invite you jesus to come and heal me come lord come thank you father thank you jesus thank you holy spirit we enter back into the time machine the time capsule that we have got and we go to the next stage of our life the time of our birth when we were just born the time of our delivery when we were just delivered what was the reaction of the parents were you a girl child and they wanted a boy and they were so dejected so disappointed oh we wanted a boy and this girl has come or maybe they wanted a girl and you were a boy again there was disappointment and rejection were you dark and your mother rejected you i wanted a fair gora gora child why is my child so dark what was the reaction of your grandparents from both the sides were they happy disappointed passing negative comments on your looks on your color on the shape of your nose on your chin on your lips on your eyes on your forehead on your hair what about the what about the reactions of your brothers and sisters uncles and aunts neighbors who came there when you were just born a little little baby chota sa baby so many negative things oh he doesn't look like his mother he doesn't look like his father he looks like someone else and people making fun of your looks fun of your color fun of your gender they did not know that they were hurting you that's why jesus says father forgive them for they did not know what they are doing they didn't know they didn't know the kind of impact they were having on your subconscious mind the kind of hurts they were inflicting on your soul on your mind on your heart and that has affected you 
those wounds remain now and they come as a blockage in your forgiving people in your having hatred towards people in your having blockages to receiving blessings from god i take a decision today to forgive all of them unconditionally jesus come into this situation and with your precious holy blood wash away all the stains of these hurts heal these wounds o lord make them whole fill these wounds o lord with your precious blood by your wounds i am healed o lord completely healed completely cleansed completely cleansed made white as snow thank you jesus thank you father thank you holy spirit i release everybody and i release myself i'm set free the son of god sets me free i'm free indeed let's enter back into the time machine and come to the next stage of our life from our infancy our early childhood from the age of 0 to 4 where we were very small infants there so many things which were partial against us partiality and favoritism towards our brothers and sisters towards our cousins towards our neighbor's children comparison with other children pointing out our flaws and faults our looks our inability to walk at the right time talk at the right time somebody called you gunga hai gungi hai is this child mute is this child deaf behra hai kya behri hai kya chal kyu nahi sakta hai langda hai kya taakat nahi hai kya itna kamzor kyu hai why are you so weak look at your brother when he was small he was so smart he could talk he could walk he could smile and you you are so dumb so many comparisons you had no say you could not even talk but these things were hurting you inside castigation and criticism from your grandparents from your uncles and aunties from both the sides from the neighbors who came and made fun of you from the visitors relatives who came and made fun who said negative things about you oh this child is always crying uska shakal dekho hamesha rota hai roti hai always a cry baby always the face is crying why so khush raho dekho baki ke bacche how the other children are always playing smiling and why you are so sad so much crying always tears howling they didn't know the hurts that you have had they didn't know the wounds that you were carrying the pain that you were going through you are so sad inside and that developed so much of negativity in your mind against everyone your own parents your own grandparents your brother sister today none of the relations are working out properly today there's hatred in your mind today because of those things that happened you are not doing well in your own family with your parents with your brothers and sisters with your relatives with your neighbors you always fighting with your neighbors however much you want to improve but doesn't happen everybody is against you 
and you feel you want to fight everyone and this is the effect of the wounds as today we come to this realization we ask the lord for whom nothing is impossible the lord come into that situation during my years of infancy between 0 and 4 come lord with your precious blood wash all these wounds and wipe them and clean them make them all white as snow my lord my god for you nothing is impossible you are the lord of lord the king of kings you are the mighty healer you are the wounded healer come jesus come lord come heal me cleanse me purify me sanctify me make me a new creation in you i am a new creation lord the old has gone the new has come thank you jesus i take this decision to forgive them father forgive them they did not know what they were doing at that time lord have mercy o lord have mercy on me thank you jesus thank you father thank you holy spirit we enter back into the time machine and go to the next stage of life our early childhood days between 4 years old to 12 years old the time that we started going to school the time that we started meeting people outside the people who transported us to the school and back to the fellow students whom we had in our class our classmates our friends our teachers our principals the other co-workers in the school the time when those students ganged up against you and blamed you and fought with you and hit you and said bad words to you insulting words to you the time that your teachers punished you without reason they scolded you without reason they made you stand on the bench without reason you had not done anything wrong but somebody accused you wrongly and you were punished somebody was violent with you one of the teachers hit you with a stick through no fault of yours but you could not say anything and when you came home your parents are not willing to listen to you your grandparents were not willing to listen to you nobody wanted to listen to what had really happened to you everybody was so much away from you as if nobody loved you at all the time when you were touched badly while you were traveling in the bus while you were in the school with your teachers with your tuition teachers with your cousins while you were playing at a neighbor's house while you had gone to your uncle's house and aunt's house you experienced that touch which was not nice you felt so filthy so dirty and you came running back and told your mama and your dad but they just made you keep quiet no 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 don't talk like that nobody is like that you only it's all a figment of your imagination but you had felt something so weird so something so filthy when that wrong touch was there that wrong action that was taken against you that molestation that happened with you that abuse that feeling of dirt filth abusiveness is still lingering on and you feel the whole world is against you now every man every woman every person whom you meet is out to hurt you harm you abuse you take advantage of your feelings your emotions take advantage of your body your looks your sexuality 
why did no one support me my own parents my grandparents my brothers my sisters nobody supported me i went into my shell i felt so dirty and filthy and abused it's really made my life so miserable but today as i know jesus is there he is the living god he is the one who is the same yesterday today and forever and i invite you jesus to come come lord come come to me come into my life at that time between the ages of 4 and 12 come jesus wash all those wounds wipe away every stain of abuse of neglect of anger of hatred of punishment of castigation wash everything lord i take a decision lord in your name jesus to forgive them though my heart is not willing to forgive oh lord my heart is so heavy but i know jesus that you are going to heal me today today is the day of my healing my lord today is the day of my signs and wonders miracles and healings of my life oh lord and today i invite you and i know and i request you lord i plead with you wash me white as snow i forgive them lord forgive them for they do not know what they were doing at that time lord i forgive them unconditionally jesus i set them free lord may they be blessed more than you bless me lord i love them lord with an unconditional love that agape love which you have for all of us and for the father i love them lord i forgive them lord i set them free lord help me jesus help me holy spirit cleanse my mind cleanse my heart cleanse my soul heal my subconscious mind remove all the hurtful memories and unloved experiences thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah we get back into the time machine and going to the next stage of life from the age of 13 to 19 when we were in our teenage adolescence the time that we were growing up our bodies were changing our physiology was changing we were growing up we were becoming young and mature and we had so many good friends and friends who betray us at time we had teachers we had fellow students we had a crush on somebody we thought there was so much of love though it was infatuation for a boy for a girl maybe somebody older also somebody from the school maybe a teacher maybe somebody from some of your cousin and it resulted in be your being taken advantage of that boyfriend of yours whom you thought loved so much and you wanted to get married to him even at the age of 13 and 14 because you had such a rosy picture about marriage and you wanted to settle down in future and you loved this boy so much cared for him so much you couldn't sleep at nights because of him and one day he just deserted you ditched you for another girl who was so beautiful more beautiful than you but you were also so beautiful in your heart you loved him so much you cared for him you did so many nice things for him but he rejected you he ditched you and left you and you were so hurt you cried the whole night nobody could understand why you were crying why you were so sad why you were so morose why you were so dejected why your studies were getting affected you could not study as you were turning out to be so beautiful why were people out to touch you and take advantage of your beauty even as a boy some one of the lady teachers called me home and abused me i was falsely implicated for copying in class as a girl when i went to school one day at the young age of 12 and 13 
I suddenly saw the whole school laughing at me. Everybody was laughing and making fun of me. I didn't know what they were laughing at. And one of the teachers came rushing to me and rushed me into the washroom. And I realized what had happened. I had stained my dress. And they all made fun of me. I was so ashamed. Why did not my parents or my brothers and sisters or my grandparents teach me something and forewarn me that this can happen to me? Oh, that hurt me so badly. The whole school had made fun of me and laughed at me. They had made fun of my parents. They had made fun of my whole family. That what kind of a girl you are, that nobody taught you anything. That hurt stayed in me. So many hurts during these young days of teenage and adolescence. And I have not been able to love anybody after that. Though I got married, my marriage is getting affected because of this. Today, Lord Jesus, I call you. Jesus, you are present here, live, O Lord, in this blessed sacrament. I ask you to come into my life. Into these moments, O Lord, which were so hurtful, so embarrassing, so full of shame, so full of dejection, so full of hurt, so full of tears, Lord. Wipe them clean, Lord Jesus. Wash away all these wounds, O Lord, and make them white as snow. Bring them into pinkness of health. Yes, Jesus, come. Come, Lord, I sense your presence. I need you, Lord. I need you so much. You are my only savior, Jesus. You are my only Haitian trying to get good jobs or going for higher studies or getting an early marriage. Things seem so rosy. Finding a lovely life partner, a wonderful husband, a wonderful wife. Getting a wonderful job. Getting good marks in my graduation and post-graduation. But suddenly what happened? happened. My job was not so happy. My colleagues were backbiting me. My bosses were not happy. I was blamed for some crime which I never committed. And I was thrown out of the job. I thought my marriage was so beautiful. I had such a wonderful husband. But he came drunk every day. He came home drunk in, in a drunk condition every day. And he abused me. And he was violent with me. He hurt me. As a man, I was feeling my married life is so wonderful. But my wife had no time for me. She was still in the hangover of her parents. And all the time talking to her parents. And comparing my parents with her parents. And that affected my relationship with her. The marriage started getting more and more distant. My work started suffering. Whether it was my parents or my brothers or sisters or my colleagues or my good friends. Life which started so beautifully with so many good goals and dreams was suddenly hit hard. Jesus, I invite you in these moments of my life. The years of enthusiasm, the years of so much of expectation out of life. But disappointing years, O oh Lord. Hurtful years, O oh Lord. Lord, come into this time and cleanse every wound. I forgive my wife. I forgive my in-laws. I forgive my parents unconditionally. I forgive my bosses, my colleagues, my friends unconditionally. 
Lord have mercy on them I set them free now set me free Lord wash wash us white as snow we enter back into the time capsule and come to the critical years of our life between 26 27 to 45 the married life the career life the life with children as i was thinking my marriage is so beautiful and at the advent of the child my wife my husband ignored me 